Today on the channel, my descent into Mortal Kombat madness begins, Shao Kahn McFarlane. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a Mortal Kombat unboxing and review. Our second one on the channel, technically that Spawn figure we unboxed back in the day, was technically a Mortal Kombat figure. But this is the start of my descent into madness. Join my descent by following along and going to Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below for all your Mortal Kombat needs. But today, Shao Kahn is what we're talking about. I was on my action figure hunts. Every Friday, I released my hunt videos for the week. I was at Target, checking out the old NECA set. And then I turned the corner, went down the video game aisle on my way out of the store. And who do I see but Shao Kahn staring me in the face, challenging me right there in the aisle to Mortal Kombat. And so I looked at it. I picked it up. I had the angel and the devil on my shoulders. I said, Kyle, you don't need to collect another line. You don't need to start something. But he looks so cool on the packaging. Everything else looks so cool about this. I just didn't know what to do, and here we are. I picked it up off my Target shelf, and this could be a descent into madness, depending how this goes, as I'm an old-school Mortal Kombat fan. I was a teenager in the height of Mortal Kombat madness, playing it at the old-school arcades, yes, arcades, playing it on the uh, entertainment systems at home. Love Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 2 was a way of life for me at the time. Baraka, I definitely have to get Baraka, I think. I don't know where I'm going with this, as there's some cool figures here. Storm Collectibles, of course, does make Mortal Kombat figures as well. Those are next level. I really like the looks of those. Those are pricier. But then you got the cheaper option, $20 to $25, $30, the McFarlane versions. Now, we talk a lot of McFarlane on the channel when we're talking about the DC figures. That's what McFarlane is most known for right now is his DC figures. They are everywhere in my area. Basically, a glorified Batman line. I always talk about on the channel. I just don't know what to think about it. All in all, I'm not a huge DC guy. You guys have seen on the channel, I've picked and choose between some of those McFarlane figures. I'm not a fan of the scale in my superhero figures, but for some reason, this is the crazy mind of a collector, a hardcore collector, and I'm sure some of you guys have the same weird rules and stuff like that. For this Mortal Kombat line, I don't have preconceived uh, notions of what I want the scale to be. Does that make sense? Superheroes, I want the Marvel Legends size scale, you know, six six inch figures, where McFarlane stepped up to seven, eight inch figures. Why is that? I don't know. I can't answer it. It's just how my brain is working. So when I get these Mortal Kombat figures, I can see people saying, well, Kyle, you don't like the scale of the DC McFarlane figures. And I really don't. But for Mortal Kombat, it works for me. I don't, I don't get why that is. But it is. It's a. It's its own world. I guess I don't mix my Mortal Kombat with superheroes. I know somebody's going to say, well, in some of the video games, Batman's in Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. I totally understand that. But to me, it's a different world. It's a video game world. It's Mortal Kombat. And seeing this, I had to pick it up. And then all the hype around the Mortal Kombat movie. I think it's coming to HBO Max, I believe, in a week or two. I'll definitely be checking that out. I've told the story on the channel a few times all in on Mortal Kombat back in the day, arcades. My buddy was a Mortal Kombat master. My old buddy Scott out there, I'm sure he's watching, and he could maybe come on the channel and tell the story. He uh, won a Mortal Kombat tournament in the arcade, won like 40 tickets, all his swag stuff, back to the original Mortal Kombat movie, and we saw that movie so many times. Uh, why wouldn't we? They were free. Um, so I definitely love Mortal Kombat. Saw Shao Kahn, gotta pick him up. Where will it go from there? I don't know. It depends how much I like this figure. If I like it too much, we could have a total descent into madness where I'm going to tell myself, well, I just need a few. I need Scorpion, I need Sub-Zero, Raiden, Johnny Cage, and then I'll call it good. Well, then I'll see Katana, I'll see uh, you know, Baraka, I'll see Cyborg, out. I'll see all these guys. I'll say, oh my gosh, Smoke, oh geez, I need him. And that's how it goes in the collecting world. You always start off saying, I'm going to buy just a few here and there, and there it goes. So there it is. That's a little story time to uh, set the mood for this review. Look at the packaging first here, then we'll open it up. So there it is, Mortal Kombat 11. I believe Mortal Kombat 11 is the video game this represents. Shao Kahn down below. You can see him inside looking only like he can look. He's got his hammer, like a young Thor almost. Uh, and then you got that display stand, which I do like that about McFarlane. I do appreciate a good display stand for you guys that know me. Got a little light to light the package in there. 
There's that cool glamour shot on the side. Love a good glamour shot on the side. It's a must. And then the other side, you got Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 11. You got his hammer right there. Bottom, you got warnings and all that fun stuff. And then we get to the back. Look at that. I got some gripes on the back. I can already see it. But a very cool image shot there. Glamour shot. Like that a lot. Now, McFarlane DC figures, he just shows a picture of a comic book of the figure. I like things like this. I don't know why he doesn't carry that over into the DC figures. Show a picture of the actual figures. And then down below, hey, let's promote. And that's what this is missing. It's missing promotion of who else is in the Mortal Kombat line. Who else do I need to look for? You have no idea. A guy like me, I'm, I'm new to this line. I knew they existed, but I never really paid attention. Okay, there's Shao Kahn. And then I saw Liu Kang just hanging out there as well. Okay, there's those two. Are those the only two in the line? I have no idea of knowing. Now I gotta pull my phone out. I mean, it's such a chore to pull your phone out. I mean, we all just pull our phone out once or twice a day, I'm sure. I, I know. But you look it up and you have to do all the research. Put it there, promote on the package. It's a lost art, it's a lost art. You know what else is a lost art? A little blurb here. It could say Shao Kahn, as represented in Mortal Kombat 11. It's something. You can give us a blurb, a history, something. Little couple of sentences. It goes so far. Uh, if I was a toy mogul, that's what I'd be pushing first off. Guys, back to the drawing board. We need, we need some copy back here. We need it. Uh, some of the lines do a good job of this. Some, not so well. This is a fail as far as uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, nice package, nice sleek packaging, skinny package, not a lot of wasted room, best for the environment. We're going to see that a heck of a lot more. I think Marvel Legends, uh, a lot of things. We've seen it with Star Wars Black Series, shrinking of the packaging. It's going to happen. You go back to 90s, we've talked a lot of Wildcats on the channel. Big packaging, those days are long gone. Uh, you can ship more. Smaller the packaging, the more you can get in a box, the more boxes you can get on a truck, the more fuel you save, the more boat space you save, whatever. That's how it's going. And that's not just toys, that's across the board. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to find truck drivers. Got to salute all those truck drivers out there doing all the hard work. Harder and harder to find those guys and gals, of course. So we need more on the trucks that we already have going. Everything has to be a smaller packaging. A little business talk, as we always do. I put my business hat on today, so I was ready. All right, let's open this bad boy up. See what's doing here with Shao Kahn. I wonder if a lot of people keep these in the package and keep them in on card. See you later. Not me. I'm, you guys know me. I don't got room. I don't got room for a min on card collection. I got to really pick and choose. Talk a lot about the, oh, terrible. See you later. Is there anything worse when you pull something off and it just slides off and you don't get in at all? Just absolutely atrocious. It's like I'm a rookie. It's a, like my kid opening stuff. I just shake my head and say, oh, you're just not a pro. You don't have 40-plus uh, years of opening packages like I do. See you later, like a Frisbee. Got that old traditional Mortal Kombat stand. We saw it with, uh, what was it, Spawn? Medieval Spawn or, no, just regular Spawn that we got. So there it is. Really appreciate the stand. You guys know me. Love a good stand. There it is. Shao Kahn. Looking only like he can look in the old plastic prison. I need to invent my own stands. We're going to take ringside collectible stands to the next level. They're going to be embossed with the channel, uh, graphic channel logo. I, I need a graphic. I need a logo. I need a header. I need to get something like that. I'm just not uh, artistic enough. I need to hire that out. Um, I'll get my own stands made. It'll be great. They'll be the universal stand, the Kyle stand. Little known fact, in the display world, you guys see displays in stores and stuff. There's an actual display out there called the Kyle I invented it. I'm an inventor. I'm like a young Mr. Wizard. I've invented some new products in my day. I've also invented display fixtures. So there you go. You'll pass that test when I'm... There it is. See you later. It's just I'm a renaissance man. What can I say? Action figure collector, display designer, toy mogul. We got any articulation here? All right. All right. Got him out of the package. Beautiful. Beautiful packaging. I mean, this looks more statue than figure. We talk about that a lot. You compare this to a Marvel Legend. Marvel Legend looks a little more cartoony, which it's supposed to be. Shao Kahn's supposed to be. It's like they kind of blended. Like we're seeing in Star Wars Black Series currently. They're blending some of the comic stuff in like the Star Wars Rebels. Putting them more realistic into the Black Series line. That's kind of what I see here. This looks more realistic than anything. Uh, very cool. Very cool. No removable mask or anything like that. But man, is that something else? Is this next level? A lot of sharp pieces on this bad boy. Uh, a lot of uh, sharp little pieces that definitely not for kids. 
Get the double jointed elbows here. This arm has a little limited, well little, totally right arm limited articulation when you got the shoulder gauntlets and everything. Man, these things are sharp. I feel like I just pricked my finger on there. Uh, sharp horns on top. Uh, 22 points of articulation, I believe, all the way down to the toe articulation. Never quite really understand that toe articulation a whole lot. Doesn't do a ton for me, but I guess we appreciate it. It's just another pose of articulation. I'm sure there's figure photographers that make a lot of use of that. Tons of articulation, but a little hard to get into positions based on his, uh, uh, we'll call it a kilt. We won't call it a skirt. We'll call it a kilt. Based on that kilt, kind of limiting some articulation there. I mean, you can get a little bit of splits there. You can get a little bit of stuff going. Um, but it's not like, uh, what was that, Spider-Man retro car that had all kinds of articulation. You know, there's nothing stopping his shoulders and stuff like that. Um, so you got, you got that. You got to take the good, the bad. And then you've had the facts of life, as we've been told. Even the wrist articulation is limited because of the gauntlets here. A lot more wrist articulation here. One thing I will note, and one thing I do like a lot here, is I've complained on McFarland toys a lot over the years. Uh, the ball joints, especially on those Fortnite figures. The ball joints at the ankle always drove me nuts. I thought they looked ugly. I thought they, they just really took away from the total design of the figure. This does not have that. This is very solid. Guys, I like this. I like a beefy figure. Obviously, I have a lot of history with Mortal Kombat. And this is the big one. This is the main player in the Mortal Kombat. I mean, this is the guy that brought the Mortal Kombat. Uh, and I, Like I said, I fall, I've fallen out. Mortal Kombat 3 was where I really ended. 2 was my heyday. Uh, I haven't really seen any of the later day movies. I collected the old school Mortal Kombat figures when they were G.I. Joe size. They look like G.I. Joes. I think I can get around this. I think I can get into this. I'm going to try to be as selective as I possibly can. You, know, you can only collect so many lines. Uh, something's got to give. Something's got to break in there eventually. But uh, I, I like the looks of this. Do I need the Liu Kang? I mean, I re oh, where do I go? The devil and the angel, they're on my shoulders. You, we've all been there. We all have that problem. There's his hammer there. It's got the Mortal Kombat logo on both sides. Nice silver paint job with the gold, really making it pop. Got that spike on the very top. You got the red handle. Can't complain. I really can't complain about this one a whole lot. A little sharp, but this isn't for kids. Uh, I could see old Emma, old Chucky, my youngest daughter, she'd probably hate this thing. She'd hold it and have all these pricks in her fingers. She'd be screaming and crying, what is this? What is this torture tool? Um, but I like it. I tell you what, it comes with a stand. I like that. Uh, let's compare it. I brought that uh, Spawn figure along. Here's that Mortal Kombat Spawn. I know there's a few different versions. This is the sword version. I know there's a mace version. There's a bloody Spawn. One thing about McFarlane, we love it, we hate it. I more hate it, actually, is all the variants. Way too many variants, especially back in the 90s in the heyday of Spawn era. Man, he was the king of the variant, we would call him. There were so many different ones. And I, I believe from the limited research I've done so far on Mortal Kombat figures, it seems like things have not changed as there are variants to Raiden, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, stuff like that. I just want my traditional ones. But I, I think at this point some of those traditional ones are through the roof. Got to figure what I got to do. I got to get a deal, of course. I need to find out, too, do the Storm collectible ones match up size-wise with these? I need to do some more research. Uh, early in the line, going to research it. Got to figure out what I'm doing. Got to use your mind. Got to get a deal. At the end of the day, you got to get a deal. You go all in. It's fun to go all in on a line that's been out for a while because there's some deals to be had out there. You can find some stuff. But then on the same token, you got to upsell and pay a little extra for some things. So, do your research whenever you're jumping into a line. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Got to get a deal. I don't care who you are. Get a deal out there. You, you owe it to yourself. Do the research. Uh, we'll also compare it. How about Superman? The McFarlane DC. We talked about that a little bit. Uh, Scale-wise, pretty much in scale. Maybe that Superman's a little short compared to these guys. Uh, I'm not really sure. How tall is Superman supposed to be? 6'2", 6'3", that's my guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Scale-wise, they're all in the same height classification in my book he looks a little taller because of his helmet i think but shao khan I, I gotta say i like this one a whole lot for 22 bucks or whatever it was at target man i tell you what guys i tell you what it's a slippery slope i don't know you guys tell me in the comments have you bought a mortal kombat figure does any is there any of my viewers out there that's a mortal kombat toy expert Someone that can guide me. Can I be your young Padawan? Can you show me the way? Can you show me where the deals are? 
the million dollar questions there, but tell me your Mortal Kombat thoughts, tell me your McFarlane thoughts, this is the time to talk McFarlane toys, do it down in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Who knows, there may be a lot more Mortal Kombat to come, there might be a lot of other things to come. There's always something popping on the channel, you guys know that. Hit the old notification bell, follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And for maybe the slippery slope of Mortal Kombat, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.